Good morning, good morning. Well, it's good afternoon, actually. <laughs> I was a little tired today. This is Pastor Allison Joan Hall. You're a pastor, the Airway Spiritual Entertainer, <sighs> author of the book, Cracks in the Potter's Clay, How I Overcame Bipolar One with Faith. And in Spanish, Grietas en la Orcilla del Alfredo, como super bipolar uno con fe. And I am out for my daily run with my dog, Nikita. It's a part of my healing. Exercise is very important to our bodies and our minds and our emotions. And if we're consistent, we have consistent results. And I like to be happy. So I do things that I know make me happy. I eat right keeps me happy, keeps me feeling good. And I exercise and I praise the Lord. Hallelujah, because the Lord inhabits the praises of his children and our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit, which we have of God, we are not our own. Hallelujah, glory to God. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us decide to rejoice and be glad in it, y'all. That's our choice. Don't let the devil fool you. He is a deceiver. He is a liar. Uh-oh. No, the kitty got a little uh-oh. Uh-oh. The kitty's got a got a little loose stool going on here. Kind of hard to pick that up. Dang. Yeah, let's just cover it up with the rocks because it's it's watery. It's, I, I do have bags, but it's hard to cover up. I mean it's hard to pick up when it's loose like that, but I covered it up. So, a um, little tired today, Get, so I got a late start, I have a late start, but but it's all good, it's better late than never. God, I thank you for everybody under the sound of my voice. I ask that you bless and protect them this day and order our steps in your word today, Father. Holy Spirit, God, our thoughts, our words, and our actions, and give us confidence to know that everything happened today, that happens today is going to work for our good, because that's what your word says, Romans 8, 28. All things work together for good for them that love the Lord and those that are called according to his purpose. Do you love the Lord? I love him, and I show him by loving, by keeping his commands. Hallelujah. Glory to God. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. God is a good God. Never, never will be perfect, but I strive for it. We'll never be perfect because Romans 3.23 says, All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Jesus was the only perfect one. We're never going to be perfect, but we can strive for perfection. That's what I do. I strive. I'm hard on myself. I strive to be the best that I can be. God is my accountability partner. And if it get, if it get, get, get past God, then I'm not sh ashamed before men. That's why I'm so transparent parent and I tell everything <laughs> because because God knows everything so if how can I if I'm not hiding from God if I'm walking around in peace living my lifestyle the way that I am and I know God is watching me and I got confidence and I'm happiness I'm happy why would I be ashamed before man when man doesn't have a heaven or hell to put me in only God can judge us and we judge ourselves and I'm forever judging myself I'm forever asking I I, I want to know you know when I mess up because I want to be in God I want to be looking good in God's eye all the time because when Jesus come back I want to be doing right I want to be doing something that pleases him loving somebody being respectful to somebody giving to somebody encouraging somebody praying for somebody just whatever and um that's just the desire of my heart y'all <laughs> to please God hallelujah 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 and if you delight yourself in the Lord Psalm 37 4 says he will give you the desires of your heart and he has given me the desires of my heart and I am so happy right now and um and there's more on the horizon glory to god and long i'm keep god first and we have to pray about these things we have to pray about keeping god first no matter what relationships you have that come and go in your life you had the devil tries to first peter 5 and 8 says that the devil roams around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour he tries to distract us he uses people he knew he uses he uses everything to try to distract us and take our minds off of God. So 
we just I pray about it every day even in a new relationship that I'm in I pray every day God please help me to 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 know my mate my future mate Craig and and stay balanced in you I pray that every single day because I I just want to please God in all that I do and and God and Jesus is the foundation of our relationship hallelujah and the man prays for us hallelujah and he leads me in prayer hallelujah <laughs> glory to God oh Lord Nikita is not feeling this run today I'm getting ready to take her back home and come back out on my own because I have to get it in I have to get mine in and she ain't cooperating today she keeps stopping so um but I hope I said something to encourage you and I pray God bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you, be gracious to you and give you peace. All things are possible with God if you believe and you, it's your choice whether you believe or not. You can trust God and live your life knowing that everything is going to work to your good and not stress out and just ask for guidance and say, God, okay, I don't know how to handle this one. What do I do? Tell me what to do. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. That's, that's James 4 and 8. So just, and Jeremiah 33, 3 says, call unto me and I will answer and I will show you great and mighty things that you know not. So anything you go, you go through this day, just say, God, I need your help with this. I need your help with this. Help me to pass this test. Help me to pass this test, cause it's all a test, y'all. It's all a test. And I like, I like getting A's, I do. I like getting A's, I try my hardest. <laughs> Hallelujah, I don't listen to this flesh no more. I used to listen to this flesh and do whatever it told me to do, say whatever it told me to say, do whatever it told me to do, but not anymore. And whenever we sacrifice, and, and suffer a little bit for God, he blesses us. If you hold your tongue, instead of cussing somebody out, God will bless you. Whenever we make the choice to do what pleases God, he's going to bless you. It's a sacrifice of praise. It's a sacrifice of, of self-control. That's one of the fruits of the Spirit. Self-control. Hallelujah. Glory to God. All right, y'all. I'm going to get off here now. Seven minutes. 17 seconds.